Here we are in Open Dental. We're in the appointment book, which is one of the modules that you can see over on the left-hand side of the screen. And we're going to chart treatment and existing restorations for our patient, Dewey Duck, right there. Dewey has an appointment. So what we'll do is click on that appointment and then go over to the chart icon on the left-hand side and click on that and it will take us into a blank chart because Dewey is a new patient so we don't have any existing restorations or treatment entered yet. That's what we're going to do right now. First thing we'll do is click on the missing teeth. So I'm going to go around and click on 1, 16, 17, and 32, and 8 and 9. Those are our missing teeth. And then over on the upper right, I'll go to the missing teeth tab, just exactly what you'd think it would be, and click on that, and click on missing. Boom, the teeth are gone. Now, what if I made a mistake? What if tooth number 16 wasn't really missing, but was impacted? Can I get back to where I was? Can I put that tooth back? Yes, I can. I click on 16. I'm going to say it's not missing, and put it back. So it's very versatile. So I can undo mistakes, because we all make mistakes. Now, in this case, I made a mistake, it is missing. I'm going to go back and make it missing again. So now we have all the existing teeth in there, and we've charted our missing teeth. So let's go back and put in some existing restorations. So these are things that the patient walked in with. So I don't want the missing teeth, I want to enter treatment. In this case, it's treatment that's already been done. And so I'll go down there a little bit to the left. And you see I have a treatment plan I have completed that I did today. I have other existing that I did. But what we want is existing other. This is a new patient to our office. Never seen her before, him before. So we click on that. Now anything that we enter will show up as an existing restoration. So let's say the patient had a crown on tooth number two. So I select number two. I make sure that I have existing selected there. And then I'm going to go to my procedure list. Right there. I click on that. And I get a list of all the procedures. But there's categories. So the category I want, because this is a crown, is fixed prosthodontics. I can go in there. I can see I've got lots of different crowns. Don't have to know my procedure code, so that's kind of helpful if I know that's a 2750. But if I know that's a, just a, a porcelain crown, that's fine. You can change those abbreviations yourself. I have a PBM, but you might want to call it a PFM. That's fine. It's customizable. I say OK. Now it shows in green that that's an existing crown by some other provider. That's an existing restoration. Now this patient probably has some other crowns in there too. So let's go select some other teeth. I just click on them. So I have four teeth selected this time. I only had one the first time, but these are the other four. Normally I would select all of them at once. I'm going to go back same way I did before. Make sure I've got existing and not treatment plan. I'm going to go back to fixed prosthodontics. I'm going to find my crown. Now I can either double click or I can do click and OK. And if you see, I entered all those crowns at once. So that's a much more efficient way to do it, to select all your crowns, all your teeth with crowns first, and then go in and enter them all at once. But you can enter them one at, the, one at a time if you want to. 
So the easiest way is to go around the mouth. The doctor goes around the mouth, tells you the missing teeth, and tells you the existing crowns. You can do existing restorations, fillings, composites, if you want to, but that's rather time-consuming, and we accomplish the same thing probably with better information uh, by using photographs. We'll get to that. So there's our different categories. So there's our category for endo. Okay, we think tooth number 30. I'm sorry, that's a treatment plan. That's a treatment plan to extract tooth number 30. Okay, but oops, I made a mistake. Okay, I said that tooth was already extracted by somebody else because I forgot to change that button. Okay, that's not a big problem. Everybody makes mistakes, so I'm going to go find that procedure. There it is right there. Now I can double click on it and open it. And I can delete it if I want to, but and then I have to re-enter it. Or I can go up right up here and change its status from existing other to treatment plan. That just saves me some re-entry. Okay, and I say okay. And now I show it as a treatment plan, which is what I wanted. Okay. Now I'm going to put some other treatment in, so I want to make sure I change this button from existing other to treatment plan. That's what I forgot to do. So now anything I put in will show up as a treatment plan. So let's do a bridge. Uh, poor Dewey's walking around with no front teeth. Uh, so let's do a double abutted six unit bridge. And I'm simply going to select those six teeth right across there all at once. Remember how I entered all the existing crowns at one time? I can enter a treatment plan for a bridge very quickly too. I'm going to go over here to my little pre-made icons. And there's my PBM bridge. You might call it a PFM bridge. I double clicked on it and there's my bridge is treatment plant and it knows the difference. It's smart enough to know that some of those teeth are retainers and some of them are ponics and it puts in the correct code for me. That's pretty nice. That's a real time saving device. And you can have all sorts of those customized buttons depending upon what the most frequently used procedures are in your office but you don't have to use any of them if you don't want to. Let's go down here. You know, we're going to take out tooth number 30. So we talked to the patient about an implant. They weren't interested. So we're going to treatment plan for a bridge and we're going to do it the hard way. We clicked on those two teeth as retainers. We're going to go into prosthetics, fixed prosthetics. Now we're going to find the retainer code. We did select both of them at once. So that's a little bit efficient. We click on that. And it put in my retainers, but I have to go back and put in the PONIC. So not as fast as doing it with the quick button, but it's not all that bad either. So there are different ways that you can enter our procedure. So now we put in our PONIC. And there we go. We entered the bridge, uh, but took a few more clicks. We could have used that same uh, quick button and done it just with one click. But this works too, no problem. Let's go back. I think that tooth number 12 needs an endo. We go under endo. We know that tooth number 12 is a bicuspid. Okay, so there is our endo treatment plan. Probably want to do a crown on there. In this case, maybe we'll do an all porcelain crown. So it's still under fixed prosthodontics, but up at the top, instead of porcelain to metal, we have an all porcelain crown. So what we did was go around the mouth, enter the missing teeth first, then enter the treatment that was already done when we first saw the patient, and then put in our treatment plan.